or the actual mass reduction over the wheels. Polestar's upgrades are thorough, down to stiffer suspension bushings installed on the assembly line, in Ghent, Belgium, for S60S and Gothenburg, Sweden, for the V60 wagons, amounting to 50 significant changes that generate 260 new part numbers. Overall, the car feels livelier and more eager, with the Borg Warner all-wheel drive system, formerly known as Haldex V, before BW acquired Haldex's traction division, reprogrammed to deliver a greater portion of torque to the rear wheels at all times. Aside from a less musical, coarser exhaust note, this new S60 Polestar comes across as an even better all-around driver's car without imposing any of the usual penalties of harsh ride or unwanted noise. While there were only 750 Polestars in each of the two previous model years, America got 120 the first year, 265 the second, sold in just a few markets, there will be up to 1500 for 2017 distributed among 47 countries. Polestar Kuniels Mahler says that the performance segment is growing four times faster than the industry average, and he expects it to keep expanding over the next decade, even as development of autonomous cars grows. Shoppers with a four-cylinder aversion may find a handful of 2016 Polestar six-cylinder cars still available at U.S. dealers, but the order book is open now on 2017 models, with worldwide deliveries slated to start in August. A U.S. price has not been announced, but Volvo HQ said there'd be no OR little change from last year's figures. In the U.S., the 2016 version starts at $60,260 with very few options and your choice of Rebel Blue or one of three colors more appealing to conformists, Onyx Black, Ice White, and Bright Silver. Based on the previous mix, most Polestars are likely to be the V60 wagon, which has even fewer direct competitors in the States. It's the sedan that's racing in the WTCC, though. If Polestar manages to crown its Swedish champion driver in 2018 as planned, it will roughly coincide with the anticipated arrival of a next-generation S60 to be built in an all-new factory in South Carolina. Maybe they'll put a Volvo race car on tracks where fans in the US can watch it?